What's up you guys? It's your girl Car Maria here with Armor Up Fitness where we turn your body into wearable armor. For today's workout, we don't even have to get off our backs to get a good leg and ab workout. So just follow along with me. Remember, play your own music so that you can groove to whatever tunes you're into and do as many rounds as you would like to get more of a workout or less depending on how much time you have available, all right? Let's go. Get in a comfy lay down position. We're gonna first start with a nice glute bridge. So feet are shoulder width apart, squeeze your bum, bring up this bridge. And now we're just gonna do a marching bridge. So leave your bum up and kick your foot. Bring it down. So just a nice, tight squeeze. Try not to arch your back. It's more of just a really tight bun squeeze. So for this entire workout, picture that you have, you know, just like a, a pencil between your butt cheeks, a very valuable and expensive pencil right between your butt cheeks. Maybe you're gonna wanna throw out that pencil after because it'll be a little sweaty and butt filled, but there is that visual. So. <laughs> All right, guys, get ready to hold this bridge in three, two, one, squeeze tight. Now take your outside leg, kick it up. We're going to go up and down with our butts, holding it tight, just doing a single leg glute bridge, down and up. You should fully feel it on your butt cheeks and your hamstrings. So we're going to go up and down. Let's just give it a good 10 seconds here. The more you can squeeze at the top, the better. You've got six more seconds. Five, we're gonna switch. Four, three, two, one. Switch it out. I know my butt is already feeling it. Kick that right leg up and bring that booty down and up again. Just a quick 15 seconds on each side. And then we're going to switch it up again. Maybe we'll get you a little bit of an ab workout. I don't know. This is all booty. This is hamstrings. And this is lower abs. We'll get your upper abs to a little bit later. You've got three more seconds. Two, one. Hold that bridge up. Hold it tight. Squeeze those butt cheeks. Don't let go of your sweaty butt pencil. All right, next up, drop it down. Bring it up. And bring those feet together. Squeeze those feet, nice and in, butt down, up, knees out, and in. Butt down and up, knees out, knees in. All right, keep this going with me for a little bit. You could do this on a commercial break. You could do this where you're just laying around in bed in the morning, but this is a really good workout for those booties and those thighs. If you do want to up it a notch, if you have a little step stool or something where you can elevate your feet, feel free to step up on that as long as it's solid. You don't want it kicking out from underneath you. But for right now, we'll stick with this. All right, get ready to pulse it. In three, two, one, hold it. Give it a little pulses. Little pulses, your feet are still together. Your knees are together and you're just squeezing your butt. Just a little hip thrust. This is fine. Anytime you want a nice booty squeeze, you just, just sit here and do this. It's not weird at all. Totally not weird. All right, we're gonna drop it down in three, two, one. Bring it down. Bring those feet apart. We're gonna get our abs real quick. Just our outer abs. Okay, ready? Reach for your heels. Here we go. Just slide to the left, slide to the right. Work it. There it is. Just little heel taps. The further you can reach, the better. But just go to where your body feels comfortable. A little squeezy reachy, targeting those outer obliques. All right. We're gonna keep going with this ab situation with some little crunches. So get ready for crunches. And three, two, one little crunch. I want to go nice and slow. 
breathe out. Every time you crunch, just breathe out because that gives you a deeper crunch in those abdominal muscles. Focus on your breath. Try not to crank your neck. You should be able to do this with your hands delicately at your side, but go ahead and support your head and keep breathing as you squeeze. There you go. All right, now hold it. Hold it for me. Do not crank your neck. Do not tuck your chin to your boobs. You gotta keep that chin out. No double chins here. Just keep the squeeze. And now I want little pulses, little contractions. Just 10 seconds. And then we're gonna go to full sit-ups. Okay, so you are gonna have to sit up. You got five, four, three, two, one. All right, full sit-ups, here we go. Try to touch the mat right in front of your toes. If you can't sit all the way up, stick with those crunches. Breathe out every time you sit. Breathe out. We're getting your butt, we're getting your abs, we're getting those legs. We're looking good and we don't even have to get out of bed. This is amazing. All right, now I want a little double crunch, full sit up. Next time, and go. Crunch, crunch, all the way up. Crunch, crunch, all the way up. Every move is very controlled. We don't need to go fast. We just need to move with purpose. So focus on every vertebrae of your spine coming off the mat as you sit up. And as the same thing when you're rolling back down. Just a little crunch, crunch, full sit up all the way up. Don't swing your arms for this sit up. Just use your abs. One more time. All right, lay back down. Feels good. Put your hands under your butt for some stability. And kick those legs forward. Because guess what we're doing? We did these sitting last time. Now we're doing them laying down. Let's see if they're any better. Probably not. But just give me those little kicks. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Little kick, little kick. 10 seconds. And then I want you to bring those knees to your chest and out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, bring those knees in and extend them out. Bring them in and extend them out. We're just working those lower abs right now, the harder abs to reach. There you go, nice and controlled. And we're gonna go right back to those little kicks. In three, two, one, give me those kicks. Just another 15 seconds here and I'm gonna go into some twisting bicycles, okay? So you're gonna bring your opposite knee to your opposite elbow. It's kind of like a sit up with a knee in. You got five more seconds. Four, three, two. All right, left elbow to right knee. And out, bring it in, bring it out. If you can, maintain that crunch on the mat. If you need to lay all the way down, you can do so. But really try to take your stomach and your spine and squeeze it onto the mat, okay? So make a little C with your body, you're a banana. Okay, again, left elbow, right knee. Breathe out every time you crunch. Breathe out. Breathe out. Don't freak out, as Lady Gaga would say. Okay. Keep going with this. If you can breathe, if you can talk, you need to keep going. Stay as engaged as you can with those abdominals. Remember, we are actually going to work out. We're moving slow and with purpose. Every muscle should feel it as you move. Slowing it down really, really engages those core muscles. Okay, get ready for bridges one more time. And that's how we're going to end it. In three, two, one. Get up in that bridge. And now we're just going upsy downsy, okay? Touch the butt, squeeze it up. Touch, squeeze. Here we go. Just a few more, we're gonna go back to one leg. Then we're gonna do the other leg. 
and then we're going to pulse it and I promise you're going to feel it. All right, get ready to take that right leg up in three, two, one, hips up, right leg up, and now we're going again, little down and up. Okay, just 10 seconds here, and then I just want to pulse on that one leg. Give me five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Squeeze it up. Ooh, left butt cheek. Engaged and pulse. Little pulse. Little pulse. Little pulse. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Leg day. You're not even getting out of bed, but I bet you're sweating. Five more seconds. Three, two. One, drop it down, booty up again, back to that hip bridge, left leg up, and here we go, down the upsy. Squeeze as hard as you can on that right butt cheek to bring your hips as high as you can. Try not to think of arching your back, keep yourself relaxed, and all of your focus should be on squeezing your right butt cheek. All right, get ready to pulse in three, Two, one, hold that left butt cheek up and little pulse, little pulse. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, bring it down. We're going back all the way down and up. Bring your feet together, butt down, up, knees out, knees in, down, up, out, in. Down, up, up, in, one more, down, up, out, in, hold it, pulse, pulse, squeeze it, <laughs> this is, this could be a dance move, you could just go to the club and just give a little bit of that hip thrust, I'm sure nobody will think you're weird, you could take home all your Tinder dates and just be like, yeah, hip thrust. All right, from here, guys, roll over. I just want to get a little bit of work in that lower back because we did those abs already. So let's finish it out on that lower back. So three, two, one. Roll all the way over. This is called Superman, okay? So make a C with your body or an opposite banana. Keep those feet off the ground. If you need to put them down, that's fine. Reach out, large shoulder mobility here. In and pull up. Reach out. Fly. There we go. Up. Up. Give me a few more of these. Here we go. Stay tight. Again, you are squeezing the pencil in your butt cheek. Your quads are locked and loaded. And you're giving a little bit of pull with that lower back. Little squeeze. Strengthening our lower back, even our butt squeeze. Now hold, give me a rock. Just a little bit of rock back and forth. <laughs> and stay tight, your butt's probably burning right now. And relax, stretch out those abs. And you have successfully completed a little butt ab leg workout. And we didn't even have to stand up. Stay tuned, you guys. Partner these workouts with my other Armor Up Fitness and whatever works for your schedule, for your skill level. And I'm always here for all sorts of new fun things. All right, guys. 